<laughs> but helping people quit smoking definitely does. So I think the tobacco use kills almost half a million people each and every year here in the United States. An electronic cigarette or an e-cigarette is a way to get nicotine into the body without smoking a burned tobacco product. So an e-cigarette is a device that has three main components. There's a chamber which contains a liquid which delivers nicotine, water vapor, and other flavorings. There's a heating element that heats up that liquid and vaporizes it, and then there's a battery that powers the heating element. Many people think about e-cigarettes as one type of product, but in actuality, there's many different forms of e-cigarettes on the market. You'll often hear people using e-cigarettes referred to as vaping, and they use the term vaping to describe the vapor that's produced when you heat the e-liquid. One of the biggest concerns about e-cigarette use is that they could appeal to young people. So one in five high school students have used an e-cigarette in the past Right months. now we see about 21% of high school students report using e-cigarettes in the past month, which is the highest point ever. The use of e-cigarettes in adults is usually less than 5% across the country. At the same time, cigarette smoking has decreased to its lowest point, less than 8% now. It's not hard to understand how these products could appeal to young people as they come in so many flavors, including things like mango, vanilla, and bubblegum. Of note, the flavorings were originally created to be eaten and not inhaled. Therefore, the flavors themselves can cause damage to the body. The human brain continues to develop well into your 20s, and that developing brain is particularly susceptible to the effects of nicotine. The National Academy of Sciences put out a report in 2018 that summarized all of the evidence regarding e-cigarette use, its toxins, its safety, and its effectiveness at helping people quit smoking. That report included information that said that although e-cigarettes do contain toxins, they are much less harmful than smoking regular cigarettes. It's critical to understand that less harmful does not equate to harm less. E-cigarettes are regulated by the FDA, but as of now, they only limit the sale to people under 18 and require that they contain a warning. So two things I could recommend for parents. Number one, try to educate yourself about e-cigarettes and the potential risks. Number two, it's really important to keep good communication open with your children. Talk about what their thoughts are, what they see going on at school, and what questions they might have about e-cigarettes. One of the hopes for e-cigarettes is that these products should actually help people with their cigarette smoking and help them stop. Unfortunately, we don't quite have enough information to recommend them fully, as the jury is still out, but the hope is that these products could really help people quit in the future. Thank you.